was maybe four or five months ago. Really? Well, and, and a strong a strong defense ever since. Anybody that can survive a ladder match of that caliber has got to be a heck of a competitor. I'm looking forward to seeing him in action. He's got a really smash mouth style. You've always got to look out for his signature headbutts, especially the headbutts flying from the top rope. That'll that'll take the air out of you. That'll take the game oh, out no of you. You've got to look out for his submission style and his shooting style. And these fans are solidly behind him. So once you got the fans behind you, and you got an arsenal like Matt Bomboy has. Yeah. I'm going to try and take a lesson from him. I asked somebody in the crowd if, they, if I have their approval yet, and this little girl was like, I got to get to know you a little bit better. I'm working on it. So I'm trying to get, get the approval of the crowd, too. So well, it's, it's only the second contest here. In the oh, night, I so. know. Better than getting booed out of the building after the second contest. I've had that happen before. Oh, we're underway. There's that opening bell. We're, we're the match number two at Guts and Glory, the nine-year anniversary show. And it's for the No Limit Championship. Listen, imagine the truth of that. You got, you got a championship match in the second the second match here at the nine-year nine anniversary show. I mean, only in DCW are you going to find you're going to find action like that. And to top it off, later on tonight, two steel cage matches. I've never been to a show with that kind of a card before. I'm really excited. We got. And that wrist control from Blade Hudson can't take away the smarts of Blade Hudson. He's a well-traveled athlete. He's been he's been here he's been here and back from Mexico and he's been he's well been, been around the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Uh, and that be a Fujiwara armbar. Matt Bomboy gets the leg control. Looks like he's. Oh, I felt those from back here. How about you, stuff, David? Oh, I felt it. Not heck with hearing it. I have to keep standing up to see the action because there's so many fans in front of us, in front of a packed house here at the Farmington Fire Department. Only in Delaware, folks. Got, got him in an STF, a step over, toe hold, face lock. Mm -hmm. He's bringing that up into what looks like some cross faces, a camel, camel clutch attempt from Matt Bomboy, looking for the approval from the from the DCW fans and a snap suplex on a Blaine Hudson. Blaine Hudson. He's trying to power into the corner. Yeah, he's in a whole lot of trouble right now by the champion. Matt, Matt be setting him up for that clothesline signature into that northern light suplex that he likes to hit. Could this be a three? Beautiful combo! Two! Oh, I can't believe he kicked out. That was a beautiful combo right there. Unbelievable. Chain wrestling is the way pro wrestling should be. Matt Bomboy maintaining that head control. And I mean, if you, if you take the wind and you take the... Yeah, take the control of the head. There's no way you can walk out of the building not with your championship anymore. That humongous face wash. Did you feel that from all the way back here, David? Uh, yes, I did. A face wash that was so incredible that I think the water shot out all the way in the back of the room here. Oh, and he, and he almost wins it again. 
How is this challenger kicking out at this point? See we snap bears him over. I felt that one, Corey. It was a spinal whip and a kick. Oh, he got. I don't know if he got. I don't know if he got all that kick right there. But then Blaine Hudson takes the control back and gives a chop right to the back, just at adding insult to injury. Bomb oh, moves out of the way. Scoops him out of the back. He's got. Back. He's got and it's two. Oh, he's got him in that bat mission right now. He wants it. Oh, I think he's got him over to the ropes. Smart Woo! ring presence, because he's still not letting go. The he's that whip break on five. Honestly, oh. the challenger is lucky he broke. The champion really had. There was no reason for him to break. What's he gonna do? Get the, disqualified and keep the belt? Well, well, on top of that, I mean, all that damage you saw him. He snake eyes. He snake eyes Matt Bombo's arm over the top rope, but I don't. Now he's just working complete control on that left arm, that left shoulder of Matt Bombo, which has already had its damage done in the past. But the champion's fighting back there, kick to the midsection, chops to the chest. Right, you have to stand up too. There's too many awesome fans in the way here. Out of control, packed house tonight in Farmington. Oh, that's how you dislocate an elbow right there. Wayne Hudson maintaining control on that left shoulder, and I don't know. I don't know how much of that, how much more damage Matt Bombo's, Matt Bombo's shoulders can take, but you see Craig Pendergrass is making the count. If he counts both these men out, Matt Bombo is still walking out the No Limits champion. The challenger smart. He knew what to do. Just roll into the road. The count starts all over again. Outside the ring is the most dangerous part here. Anything can happen. It's so unpredictable. I free Craig Pendergrass all the way up. He's up to three at this point. The four. Matt Bombo just gets just gets tossed back in that ring by Blaine Hudson, the challenger. And the crowd is steadily behind TNE and Matt Bombo at this point. Oh, oh, oh he got himself too caught up. He tripped. Like oh, the there must have been sweat on the rope. He tripped and fell. Looks like he hurt his wrist hurt, and now he's going to have a lot more than just a wrist hurt. His whole chest is chopped up. He, he hit him with he hit him with three knife like shots and then one double chop, but I think doing the chop in itself did damage to that already injured shoulder of Matt Bomboy. You're absolutely correct. I was noticing that as I was calling it there. Back and forth action here for the no limit championship. And I mean usually when Matt Bombo is out there, you see me ringside, but right now I've committed to calling the action right here with you, David. And you know what? I'm enjoying I'm enjoying watching it from this perspective. But you know what? Matt Bombo's gonna have to get a surge of energy, a second win, get himself back in there to retain the No Limits Championship. True champions always rise to the top when, inversi when adversity is in their way. We'll see if Mr. Bomboy has that adversity that I'm speaking of. But if you endorse him, he's gotta be a good dude, because... That's a, some steady right hands in the midsection. Absolutely. There, there, is no, there is no dying in Matt Bombo. He's, does, he's done, gonna quit. He's never quit one day in his life at anything. Now this arm is wedged, yeah, that's the least of his worries of tapping out here. He's got to make sure he doesn't get pinned here. And the referee's right on top of the situation. Well, you always got to look for, we got to look out for in, in Blade Hudson. I mean, right now he's got control, he's got, put him in that side rush and leg sweep right now. But he always, he always likes to take advantage of bending the rules, bending the rules. And he also really favors... Uh, getting people in that label lock, as made famous by Brian Danderson. Oh, really? He's got the label lock. Well, if it's the, if it has any effect near the effectiveness that the World Heavyweight Champion Brian Dan Daniel Bryan has, then this man is definitely dangerous here. Oh, he's, oh! There you go. He hit him with a he hit him with a version of the backcracker onto the arm of the already already injured left arm of Matt Bomboy. And he's just maintaining control. This is that's loosening up the arm as you were talking it's, about. It's it's wise wrestling, but you know I can't cheer for it because it's also very crooked. And you saw him going with some some unruly tactics. But at oh, the same time, wait. this is a title match, and sometimes you got to do what you got to do if you want to rise to the top in this company. Yeah, sometimes you hear sometimes you hear the expression by hook or by, by hook or by crook, by any means necessary. But Bomboy can take that fight right back to him if he blinks his eyes for more than a second. And like I said, as, I, as soon as I was saying it... Beautiful sweep kick right there. And there's there a headbutt I was telling you about. Those are, oh my god, vicious headbutts to the challenger. Now, now 
was heading off to the top, going for that signature diving headbutt. That's made famous by Bam Bam Bigelow, one of the inspirations of Oh, he nailed him! If he can cover him, we could have this man retain his title right now, but he doesn't cover him. He says it, it's not over yet. He's I'm going to end it. Matt Mission right now. Matt Mission? Oh! He countered by Blaine. He got him. He got him in that lapel lock. Oh, he got, he got it locked in right in the middle of the ring. He's got to get to a rope. Oh, my God. Sorry, Corey. I'm just calling it the way I see it, bro. Oh, Corey, Corey Castle's going to ringside. My broadcast colleague has left me here by myself. Castle's fighting through the crowd here to get to the ring. He is very unhappy. Matt Bomboy has tapped out and lost the New England Championship. They're both saying that Craig Prender, Prendergast made an error. He was saying that he was just... Already here at the ninth anniversary show for Dynamite Championship Wrestling. You heard it, folks. The now former No Limit Champion, very PO'd. He says he's getting the belt back. I better get to ringside before I lose my job on an opening night here in DCW.